Hello and welcome. This is General English One, Unit One. And the topic is our travel experiences. If you have the worksheet, you can follow along on that. If not, <clears throat> that's no problem. So let's do the warm up. Look and listen and repeat. What do you like to do when you travel? Again, what do you like to do when you travel? I like to go hiking. Sometimes I like to go to the beach. I don't usually buy souvenirs. And sometimes I go to museums. And <clears throat> at this point, you should ask me some follow-up questions. Who, what, when, where, how, why, all right? You can stop the video and practice this on your own or with a partner. And don't forget to ask follow-up questions and a switch question. How about you? Okay, and now the vocabulary. <clears throat> Look, listen, and repeat. Camping. Fancy restaurants. Fishing. Museums. Hiking. Sightseeing scuba diving, golfing. <clears throat> so you can pause the video and put the answers in the boxes or just follow along. Either way, here are the answers. I'm gonna ask what you like to do when you travel and you should answer in a complete sentence. I like camping, etc. So number one, what do you like to do when you travel? I like hiking. Number two, what do you like to do when you travel? I like sightseeing. Number three, what do you like to do <clears throat> when you travel? I like camping. <clears throat> Number four, what do you like to do when you travel? I like fancy restaurants, or I like to go to fancy restaurants. <clears throat> you can also say I like to go hiking, I like to go sightseeing, I like to go camping. <clears throat> Number five, what do you like to do when you travel? I like to go scuba diving. Number six, what do you like to do when you travel? I like to go fishing. And let's just add in, I like to go. Number seven, what do you like to do when you travel? I like to go golfing. <clears throat> and for four and eight, you also need to add two. I like to go too. So what do you like to do when you travel? I like to go to museums. So I'll add in the extra two here and here. All right, good. And now the dialogue. <clears throat> so look, listen, and repeat. Hey, Gia. Long time no see. How have you been? Daniel, I've been great. And you? I just got back from a trip. Oh, I'm fine. Really? So did I. Where'd you go? I was in Thailand last month. How about you? What? No way. So was I. So what did you do? Lots of things. I did a lot of swimming, sightseeing, and hiking. What about you? Really? I didn't. I just relaxed. I got some massages and went to fancy restaurants. I don't want to go back to school now. 
Neither do I. All right, I started that a little bit fast, <laughs> a little bit too fast. So you can pause the video and practice this on your own or with a partner. Okay, and now pronunciation. So look, look at my mouth, listen and repeat. F fun. Family. Fishing. Fancy. Golfing. Often. So what am I doing with my mouth? Okay, I'm touching my top teeth to my bottom lip. It looks the same as the sound for the sound made by the letter V. V, V, the difference is V, V, V. Just a second. For F, you breathe out, and V, you have a vibration in your throat. Either way, touch your top teeth to your bottom lip. And try that again. Fun, family. You can feel the breath on your hand or see it with a piece of paper. See a piece of paper move, moving. Family, fishing, fancy, golfing, often. So focus on that sound today in this lesson. Okay, let's practice the conversation questions. Number one, how often do you travel? Number two, what kinds of activities do you like to do when you travel? Number three, tell me about your last trip. Number four, where do you want to travel to next? And you can stop the video and answer these questions alone or with a partner, make some questions of your own. And of course, use the system, follow up questions, who, what, when, where, how, and why, and a switch question, how about you? Right, it should look like this. A topic question such as, how often do you travel? Follow-up questions, a switch question, and a follow-up question, and then a new topic question, what kinds of activities you like to do, and so on and so forth. So person A starts, and then person B switches, and so on and so forth. It should be a real conversation, no reading, um, you should be interested in your partner and speak in complete sentences just for good practice. A real conversation between friends, not an interview, not an interrogation, not two robots talking. All right. And then come back for the grammar. So here's the grammar. You can pause the video and do the grammar and then come back for the answers or just do it with me. All right. So agreeing and disagreeing. I'm going to the beach, so am I. The verb here is be, I am, so you need am here, so am I. And you put the subject after the verb. Disagree, <clears throat> I'm not. Okay, what is this, Ariel 10. Okay, and this, the same. Okay, I was at the Bangkok Resort Hotel. I was, so was I. Disagree, I was, I wasn't. I like to go to museums. So here we need a helping verb. You see disagree is I don't. Agree, so do I. I got sick. Got is in the past. The helping verb is do in the past, so did I. Disagree, I in the past didn't. I'm not traveling this year. Uh, it's negative, negative agreement requires Neither am I disagree, really? So the opposite of negative is positive, really, I am. 
I don't like golf. It's negative. Neither the helping you need a helping verb. Don't like. Do not like. Neither do I. And disagree. Well, I do. I can't afford to travel right now. Can't afford. Cannot afford. Can. Neither can I. Disagree. Oh, I can. Negative to positive. So now that you've practiced the grammar, you can go back and practice the conversation again alone or with the partner um, and try to focus on this grammar item. And then for extra work, you can do some writing, write a paragraph about traveling and try to use the grammar and make sure it's a paragraph, not a list of sentences. So like the blue, not the red. All right. So I hope that was helpful. You can leave comments or questions below. Thanks for watching. Good luck. I'm Jeff Buck.